We're going to begin this hour with more on former President Donald Trump. He is scheduled to be in a federal court in Washington tomorrow to face new criminal charges in connection with efforts to hold on to power after losing the 2020 election, including the January 6th assault on the Capitol. Now, he is accused of four felonies, and they are conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. Scott McFarlane has covered the January 6th investigation from the very start and is on the Capitol now with more on this story. Scott, good morning. A lot to digest here. It is, Gail. Good morning. The president's accused of knowingly spreading election lies to stop Congress from counting that electoral vote January 6th and of pressuring officials in seven targeted states, each of which was won by President Biden. In a statement Tuesday night, special counsel Jack Smith called it an attack on democracy. This 45-page indictment lists six unnamed, uncharged co-conspirators. Sources close to the investigation say the indictment suggests lawyers Rudy Giuliani, John Eastman, Sidney Powell, and former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark could be those potential co-conspirators, though the special counsel has not confirmed the identities. According to the indictment, Eastman pressured then-Vice President Mike Pence not to formally certify those election results and even presented Trump with a memo on how to do it. Eastman's lawyer called the indictment misleading and said his client denies any wrongdoing. Meanwhile, the former president posted a barrage of videos last night calling the indictment a criminalization of free speech and another political war crime. Trump's court appearance scheduled for here tomorrow afternoon is before the same magistrate judge, Natalie, that accepted that grand jury indictment late yesterday. And now, Scott, you have covered nearly all of the January 6th cases. What strikes you the most about this moment? Natalie, in a sense, Former President Trump's about to cross paths with so many of those other January 6 riot defendants who said they were here at the Capitol that day at his direction, in his name. Donald Trump's about to be prosecuted in that same federal courthouse where those 1,000 plus riot defendants have been prosecuted. His court appearance tomorrow is in a neighboring courtroom from other January 6 defendants, and it's the same charge obstruction of an official proceeding that 300 plus January 6 defendants have faced, some of whom have been imprisoned on that charge. And also, Natalie, the judge in this case, Judge Tanya Chotkin, a 2014 appointee. I've sat through hundreds of hearings, many of them with Judge Chotkin at the bench. She has been uniquely, powerfully strident in her denunciations of January 6th and everything that gave rise to it. This is her case after tomorrow. All right, Scott McFarland, thank you.